religion, you know, you're not looking at them taking money out of everybody else's pocket. I don't, I'm possibly going to lose my house for $2,000 worth of back taxes. Right. Now, they were talking trillion. you're talking mm -hmm. trillions and trillions. I lose a conception of what money is after $2,000. Yeah. You know, $2,000 is the end of my well-being. But... Well, we were talking earlier about how, like, uh, uh, the, it's in the trillions, all this money that we owe. Yeah, what is a trillion? Owe. I can't it, even conceive of that. For some people that, that default on their student loans, the number gets so large that they just give up. And then we see these corporations, like, merging more and more to where in the end we're going to see, like, millions of people owing all of this money to just a few corporations. Well, we, we, definitely. That we have a cut from Michael Rupert that uh, he's talking about the economic collapse in Japan, over 50 companies de declaring mm -hmm. bankruptcy, and the impact that that's going to have on our, you know, economy when the financial reports come out in July. Um, I don't know. I think I think we'll try to fire off a few minutes of when it. When I go back in there, we'll take care of that. Okay. Well, thank you, Bill. Do we have a, a call? We have a caller. Go ahead, caller. No, I guess not. Well, I'll buy No, we do. We do? Okay, hello. How are you doing? Real quiet. Well, um, oh, there we go. Congratulations on your 300th show. Uh, Thank you. I, I was calling because I, you know, I've been a fan for a couple years. I watch your show all the time, and I would say awareness of all the stuff you're talking about is much greater than it was 10 years ago, but just the way life is, you know. <laughs> you can't keep up with most, it. You know, I've got conservative friends, I've got liberal friends, and, you know, they don't believe most of the stuff they see on mainstream news or whatever, but they're so busy trying to live their life and just survive, you know, in in general society. It's like, I watch your show and I'm like, yeah, you know, I agree with a lot, you, a lot of the stuff you say, but it's like, what am I supposed to do, you know? Uh, I... I don't believe anything I see on the news. Of mm -hmm. course not. They're brainwashing me to, you know, tell me what I'm, what they want me to think. But in the same respect, you know, I've got to work a job. I've got to, you know, support my family. Well, I, you know, I'm you're talking, to you're talking to, a, you're talking to a person that is, you know, uh, you don't, you haven't heard me on the show talking about I need this and I need that other than the computer thing because I'm more interested in covering the news, but. I have chosen to live a life with less. So I don't know what to tell you because I struggle myself and I've made, I, we're going wild here with the camera views. Um, I've made the decision that this is more important to me. Uh, my mental sanity is more important to me than being someone's slave, being verbally bashed or abused at the workplace. I've already been through all that. And so um, it comes down to a personal choice in how you would like to live your life. It comes down to a personal choice as to what is a spiritual experience for you on earth. And for me, having dreams about certain things that are happening today or concerns about solar flares, certain things that I was thinking about when I was young, before I even started reading some of these articles, has led me to the belief that I should stay on the road that I'm on. What other people do is up to them. I've asked for support from the audience, meetups and things like that to kind of bring things together. And then I kind of realized that I'm living a pipe dream, that I'm living a pipe dream from all my audience members to come together and let's do something. Let's take Portland back. And so I'm realizing that I may not be able to rally the troops the way I would like locally, but I still am in charge of uh, my own evolution as a soul, becoming less materialistic, becoming less afraid of living with less, having faith in the universe that I will eat tomorrow, that I will be alive tomorrow, that I will end up in the back of some black van to be tortured in some torture chamber underground somewhere in the future when they start doing roundups. I choose not to listen to those fears. It's like the devil talking to your ear. Be afraid. They're going to get you. Be afraid. They're going to get your brown ass one day. They're going to cut your head off. See, I don't listen to... The so um, I think if you really ask what you should do, whether you believe in a higher supreme deity or your angels, I believe in those things. And I ask those forces to help guide me when I'm scared, when I'm lonely, when I'm frustrated, when I'm feeling like, like everything that I've done for six years has resulted in, in nothing. I have to come back and go, it's a spiritual experience. I'm not here to save the world. I'm here to evolve as a soul. And I've got lots of personal work to deal with on my own as a human being uh, living uh, on this planet. So I think um, 
I want to wrap this up because we're running out of time. There's saving the world mentality that I think we have to veer away from and figure out how do we fit in into all this? Is there something that, that we feel in our heart that, that, that our, our higher self, our intuition is telling us, say this, go look at this, talk to this person about this thing, read this book. And that's how I've been living my life. Um, I'm not, I'm not saying, you know, save the world or whatever. What I'm saying is, you know, a lot of people get that everything's, backwards out there. No, I understand. And and what I'm saying to you is I have a certain passion that I was born with that some people find to be some sort of abnormality. Some people are born with two noses. Some people are b- born with a double head. Some people are born with physical an- anomalies. I was born with a certain passion to speak about these things as a way of life. But I can't convince someone that what you should do about it is to follow in suit the way that I've chosen to do it. So what I'm trying to say is ask yourself, your higher self, um, believe you have an intuition and look into that and see if there's something uh, that you need to be looking at this time. Um, people are going through major shifts right now with the economy in the dumpster. And so with less money around, less people working, people are going, well, what do I do with my time now? I need to survive. I need to pay the rent. What can I do? It's just little old me. What can I do in a plan of billions of people? And it, 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 all, it all starts with the belief that you can do something in your own community. There's so much we can do in our own community to keep things light, keep, to keep things positive, to keep things moving forward as things uh, unfold around us. Because if this whole house of cards comes down, if there's a solar flare that takes out the grid, we ain't affecting anything in Washington. It's all gonna be local. So I would say get prepared for the future that's coming. We're gonna have to relocalize in a lot of different ways. It may come sooner than later. The one thing I really dig about what you do say is, uh, you know, I do have a higher power, and then, like, if or when, you know, the stuff does hit the fan, help your brother and sister. That's yeah. the one thing I really dig that you say, because we're so, uh, we've been brainwashed to think, me, 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 I, 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 take care of me. We don't think of, okay, how can we yeah. help the guy next door who, you know... I really do appreciate that about you, Alex, and keep up the good work. Thank man. you. Thank you. Sometimes when I hold open the door for some senior citizens, um, they look at me surprised. A young man opened up the door for me, and it kind of shocks them. And I don't think things like that, actions like that, should shock people. It should be normal for people to hold open the door for someone or, or for someone to be polite when you're in the supermarket and, and you're with your little food stamps, your Federal Reserve notes, trying to buy some food so you can live. You don't have to be a zombie. You can interact with people and... You know, yeah, the zombie apocalypse currently underway in Portland just just is just a major test of my nerves and my serenity. Serenity now. Serenity now. But I can't control that. I'm not trying to control them. I don't want to be a control freak. They have their own free will and their own volition to stay human in the zombie apocalypse. That's got nothing to do with me or my karma. And I have to remind myself that every day. When I find myself getting agitated, yes, I'm wrapping it up. There's just so much I'd like to talk about. It seems like once I get down to the 23 mark that I'm ready to go into hour two into overdrive. But we will wrap it up. Are there more phone calls that we need to cover. Okay, there's not more phone calls. Let me quickly go over some of the news headlines that, that I've lined up here. I also want to mention you can watch a show on YouTube, youtube.com slash Alex And, uh, of course, if you would like to contribute to the show, uh, to con- tr- contribute to the cause, there's ways you can contact me, alex underscore answery at hotmail.com. Out to the Box is going to be returning Thursday in August. Uh, returning to Thursdays, Channel 11, 7 p.m. in August, and we're looking forward to that. Michael Tallinger is coming back to Portland, Oregon. Uh, he's going to be on the show June 19th, and he'll be speaking uh, June 24th. Again, if you like the last couple shows with Jack Pruitt and you would like to see him in Portland, Oregon, let me know, and we will bring Jack to Portland. He's going to buy a ticket and come here. All you guys got to do is send me an email and say, you're signed up, you're interested. And uh, That's uh, not really asking for a whole lot. Uh, and uh, we've got some other things here. We've got a P.O. box you can contact me at. And uh, we don't have time for the clip, Bill, because we're, we're now ending the show. I know that you really want to play that. Is there a way we can do that next week? Yeah, well, it, well it's still not July yet. <laughs> Michael Rupert has a major announcement about this is something he believes it's going to be happening in July, but we only have about two minutes left, so I apologize that we're not uh, able to play that. Um, China confirms existence of elite cyber warfare outfit, uh, the Blue Army. That's graphic 21. And we've got uh, number 22, Culture Clash Complicates China's Brazil Push. And uh, we have this one, Chinese Prisoners Forced to Play World of Warcraft and Make Money for Guards. 
And uh, we have this one, Putin. He has decided to retake the presidency. So those are the headlines that we have tonight. There are many other headlines that we didn't get into tonight. Adam Kokesh, by the way, uh, who's a Iraqi war veteran, also an activist. He was uh, violently body slammed by Washington, D.C. police during a dancing protest at the Jefferson Memorial. They've uh, banned protesting at the Jefferson Memorial, and they decided that they would do some dancing anyway, and so that is on YouTube. The last thing that I want to mention is we are grateful to uh, PCM for being here all of these years. Uh, but the greater reality is that uh, there are still people that are suffering here at Portland Community Media that have worked here for a number of years. Do we have the graphic of Ray ready? I just want to show this real quick. Um, I am completely opposed to PCM's decision to lay off Ray. It appears that the management of uh, Portland Community Media has an agenda to eliminate everyone that has been here for multiple decades. The people that care about Access TV the most are being removed from Access TV. And the management of Access TV is currently throwing away very valuable, expensive lights in the dumpster. I discovered many lights in the dumpster that were sitting out, so I want you to know that I'm very grateful to be here at Access TV. And the only reason I'm not shut up is because they don't have the power to shut me up. But I want you to let you know we're really lucky to be here because we have horrible management here at this time. And if you uh, are friends of Ray Larson, uh, you need to speak up and come to the board meetings and speak ag against the things that are taking place. And you, the viewer, you do have the, the power to come down to Access TV when there's a board meeting and speak your mind. If you don't speak your mind about some of the things taking place at PCM TV, uh, you may lose the access portion of PCM TV in the years to come and only have Mayor Adams to watch and some of the uh, government paid for programming. So Access TV is dying, folks, unless you start getting involved in Portland Community Media and going to the board meetings. And again, we will talk about this more uh, at a future date. We have 30 seconds left for the caller, and I want to thank you for calling in. Uh, hello. Hello, Alex. Hi. Hi. Hi, Alex. Uh, Alex, uh, congratulations on your, um, what was it? Uh, 300 show. Shows. Anyways, um, going back to what you were talking about er earlier about mm -hmm. the Israeli uh, situation. Sure. Um, okay, I, I know a little bit, and I mm -hmm. won't say too much, uh, you know, about this situation. Mm -hmm. Because I'm, uh, I, I keep in contact with people that mm -hmm. are Israelis and I'm Jewish. Mm -hmm. So uh, what Obama's doing, he's stirring the pot in the Middle East. He is. And, uh, and we have about 10 so seconds, Roseanne. Okay. So that's, that, that's what's going on. Some other time I'll talk to you more I think uh, hopefully we'll uh, have some open lines next week and we'll continue this conversation. And thank okay. you for calling. It's good to hear your voice. And again, thank you. we are very yeah, grateful you. to be here tonight for our 300th show. We'll talk about more things going on next week. Until then, I'm Alex Hanser reminding you the path to the ultimate truth and place of power lies in one place and it is within. Take care. Good night.